Right now I'm going to show you how to create a newsprint collage from your photograph. Uh, the first step is for you to uh, create a wide range of photographs of your model. So here we'll fully think about who your model is and what relationship you have to your model. Uh, what do you want your photographs to portray? Uh, experiment with different lighting and angles and close-ups. Pay close attention to your background because the background is especially important. If you have any objects in the background that are unnecessary, those will take away from your image. So you will see here that I created, um, this is one of the photographs that uh, I took and this is the image that I'm going to use. This is in color. And you want to um, either photograph your images in black and white or then transfer your images uh, from color into black and white. So this is my black and white printout. Um, so when you're photographing your model, it's not necessarily uh, important that you capture their face, but um, you do want to convey your model's personality through your photograph. So I'm going to be using this image and um, I'm going to trace my image and um, basically what you want to do is uh, attach another sheet of paper on top of your photograph and trace it. So one way to do it is place it over a window and uh, you'll be able to see through it or you can also use tracing paper. So here is my tracing of the original photograph and now I'm going to be looking through different newspapers and find a wide range of values that I can incorporate. So your goal is, is to translate all of these values within your photograph into this image. So you're looking at different values and pulling them out and then attach, laying them out on your sheet of paper. Um, using thicker quality paper will also be good in this case because it will absorb your glue. Uh, you want to use small pieces but you can also alter them in size um, from this size to really tiny ones. Um, you could also cut them out by tearing them. Uh, creates these very soft, uneven edges and it allows you to blend the values together much more effectively. So uh, what you can also do is find values in advance and sort them into different piles. Um, and you can also store them in an envelope just to help you get yourself organized. Um, look at the lightest values and um, see just how much of a range you can achieve. So here are my lighter values and um, there's no really right way to arrange them. I'm just layering them and trying to translate what I'm seeing in the, in the photograph. Um, as you can see, my friend in the image has pastels smeared on her arm and they look slightly different. They look more like bruises in the black and white photograph, but it's still important to translate them. So I found texture in the newspaper that uh, has that variation. I believe it was image of popcorn or something, but it really uh, matches that texture and value, so I'm going to incorporate it in here. You can also use pieces with text if they match a certain um, texture in the image that you're creating. If you see certain details or wrinkles, you can actually cut them out and use them as actual shapes rather than um, torn pieces. So having a nice uh, variety of shapes and edges will work well in your artwork. This will begin forming and coming together slowly, but you just have to be patient and you have to um, continue adding and subtracting until you find all the right values. I would not recommend using colors in your collage since this is about recreating a black and white image. Uh, I think the most challenging part uh, comes in creating the facial features. So for the facial features, you could actually cut them out, trace them and cut them out uh, like the lips and the nose and attach them on their own. Rather, uh, or you can try to recreate them using small bits. It's also important that you recreate the background and for the background you can use much bigger shapes 
than the ones you used in the body. Just remember variety is important and it can really add to your image. You can create the background using strips that are vertical or horizontal depending on what you see in your image. Um, and once you lay your entire collage out, you can um, take some glue, some white glue, and start gluing these in place. Just remember that you're using thicker paper, such as drawing or watercolor paper, so that it's able to absorb some of that glue. And remember, you don't need a lot. And then areas that you're building up, you can um, add one piece. And then you can uh, glue another one over it, and so on. And over time, as you develop it, your piece will develop a tactile quality. It will look as though you can sense and feel the surface in front of you. See here, I'm building up this collage. You might find it helpful to glue some of the shapes and then come back and start adding more shapes as you go along, rather than having all of them laid out in front of you. So try this out and see how you like it and what happens.